I'm gonna scratch out the Nike part. It's a Jordan. That's the first clue. Yeah. It's a Jordan shoe. The second clue is MJ never wore these shoes on the court ever. And last but not least, the shoe was originally released in 1998. Do you want to see the box first? Before yeah, you guess? yeah. Let me see the box. Let me see the okay, box. Okay, here we go. For anybody tuned in, here's the sneaker of the week. What we doing? What we doing, Keo? What we doing, Keo? Wait a minute. <laughs> Ooh, man. 19, it was, and he didn't wear this in 1998. He never wore it on court at all. He never wore these shoes. And stop Googling. <laughs> I'm not Googling right now. I'm just messing with you, man. Um, um, damn. I'm going to go with the sixes. Okay, he says the sixes. So if anybody <laughs> out there, Keo is a whopping two and five on the sneaker of the week. He actually got last week's sneaker of the week correct. But this week, he, lo he, he lost again. <laughs> <laughs> He's back wow. to He's wow. back to his ways. This right here, the sneaker of the week, was released recently on May 30th. May 30th. I'm get yeah, May 30th. And no, I May 30th. Yeah, May 30th. I'm tripping. May 30th. And it is the Jordan 13. Flints. Oh, <laughs> so man, right here, we got I was going to say that. You should have said it, Keo. The great box. I thought you was going to get it. So right now we got the Navy University Blue Marine and Blue Carolina. So here's the box. As y'all can see, we got the box, the great box. We're going to open it up. We're going to lift the paper, regular paper. And here we go. We're going to put this box down over here. Wow. You got oh, tricks. baby. I got tricks here today. Go. Here we go, Keo. Look at this. <laughs> this is the eighth installment of the Sneaker of the Week. And we got the Jordan 13 Sneak on um, Flints. So this was shoot. Its first time releasing was um, on February 14, 1998, and it sold for $150. Now, fast forward to today, it released on May 30th, 2020, and it sold for one night. Well, that's a suggested retail price. You try to buy them on eBay, you're probably going to spend more money than that. Um, when this shoe first dropped, this um, style, anyway, this style, the 13, it dropped with seven colorways. It's five high, two low. This is one of the highs right here. This is called the flints because of the flint gray. You can see the flint gray right here. You can see the flint gray on the back portion. And you can even see the flint gray at the bottom of the shoe. Um, this shoe, this shoe in particular, was not worn in the movie He Got Game. But there is a variation of this shoe where some people call it the black toe that Denzel Washington wore in the movie He Got Game. Um, and they're known as the He Got Game 13s, which is another fire 13. I'm not a bit, I'm going to be honest with you, I only like like three 13s. And um, it's this one, the He Got Games, and then the playoff 13. That's the only 13s I really like. People like other ones like the Braves and stuff like that, but that's the only three I really care for. But this one's a really nice shoe. Uh, for anybody out there that did not see He Got Game, um, Ray Allen co-starred in it. That's where you might see the jersey of the Jesus Shuttlesworth jersey, the throwbacks. Um, like I said, the, the other colorway for the He Got Games are basically white, right where it's white right here. You have the black, and then you have the black, and you have like a red, like a red up here. But it's fire, it's dope. Um, and yeah, that's the sneaker of the week, Keo. Not much to be said. Jordan never wore these in a game, ever. 
For all my sneakerheads out there, Jordan did, did not wear these shoes in the game. He, despite them coming out in 1998, Jordan did not wear these in the game. And I don't know why, because I don't know why he wouldn't wear them when he played for the Washington Wizards. I could see this <laughs> with a Wizards jersey, but he never wore them. So there you have it, Kiel, the sneaker of the week. What are we rating it, baby? What are we rating this shoe? I'm rating it a nine. Oh, you like him. Oh, he likes him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like I like um even though it's even though it's a kind of uh white a little bit, it has white on it. I just like the fabric and the way it's designed. I like the bottom of it. I like it has that little bubble of the Jordan symbol. Uh-huh. Um I, I think the third teams is an I- iconic uh series of shoe. A lot of people like the 11s, the 1s, but 13s, um, it's different, man. Um, I actually owe me a 13s. Um, I, I think I got the – I'm not sure which one it's called, but I got the all – it's all white, and it has a gray on the side. Ah, okay, okay. I'm not sure So right now what I'm doing, y'all, I'm getting a thumbnail. That's why I'm like this. So hopefully Kyo gets the thumbnail. But it's <laughs> <can only>. Lately, <laughs> but, um, lately – Lately, we've been we've been on point with the thumbnails, so I d- didn't really need to do anything when it came to the thumbnails. <laughs> but uh, I don't think it should be a problem. Definitely. Um, on a scale of one to five, that's why I normally rate my stuff on a one to five. I would give this shoe a four. Um, it's not a five for me. It, it's a nice shoe. I can't put it up there with the Jordan ones. Um, or the Elevens. It's not that five. Wow. But it's definitely a fire Jordan, definitely one of, you know, I can't even say it's a top five Jordan, but it's definitely, it's not a top five Jordan. The playoff, the playoff 13s are a top five. These, I would rate them below the playoff 13s and also below the he got games, but I still think it's a fire shoe. I like the colorway. I wish Jordan would have worn in an all-star game or something, you know, to me, that's what um truly makes a retro for me. I know people don't maybe not agree with that. But I like when Jordan actually wears the shoe. That's the shoes I normally buy, and I normally wear is the ones that he actually wore. But definitely a fire shoe. Four is still really high. So here you have it, the sneaker of the week. Kill. I'm going to put this in here. What should be the sneaker of the week next week? Um, The sneaker of the week next week, I'm – I like to see um, some sixes, man. That dude been one of the sixes. <laughs> Every week you get sixes. <laughs> or, he, or, or he guesses. No, the, uh, or you want an Adidas. I, huh? I, yeah, I like sixes. I, I, mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm actually a huge fan of the sixes. Sixes are probably one of my favorites. Uh, to some people, it might be surprising because a lot of favorites, they like 11s, 1s, uh, 4s. But um, I like the sixes, man. And the six, the reason why I said sixes because they got a couple of releases coming out for the sixes. That's the reason why I think you should review that. And there'll be okay. something different. So and for, um, anybody yeah. on fa- for anybody on Facebook, feel free to write down or type in or comment or however you want to word it. Um, a sneaker review you would like to see. We've done plenty. We've done feeler. We've done... Gangsta Nikes or Dope Man Nikes, however you call it. We've done Jardins. Um, we've done Pippins. So, you know, whatever it is out there, I'm going to try to grab and try to make sure that we're doing a sneaker of the week for it. I know Kiel's asked about some Adidas. I've had people ask me about the Adidas. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to try to make it happen. I can't promise you no particular week, but it is coming. But there you have it, Kiel. Sneaker of the week, the Jordan 13 Flint. Definitely a popular shoe, man. But with that... 